Welcome to another episode of Dynamic Diecasters, where this week we're going to continue our uh, Star Wars build your own X-Wing build, with this uh, week being stages 29 through 32. And with that, when we come back, we'll go ahead and get started with stage 29. Welcome back. Like I said before the break, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, start on stage 29 in this episode. And that basically is the lower port engine. If you guys remember previously, this was the one stage that I hated pretty much uh, so far because there's little tiny minute details that are just a pain in the butt to put on. So hopefully with my experience this time, it won't take as long and it won't be as cumbersome since I know what I did last time. However, we'll see. <laughs> so we've got the power input unit upper half and then we've got the power input unit lower half. Then we've got 16 pieces of pipe work details which that's the biggest pain is those pieces. But I do know the way they go now, uh, so it may not take as long. However, I'm still gonna time lapse it for you guys in case it does take me a lot longer than I am, than it should, but we'll see. And then there's two XW01 screws. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started on the build, and when we come back, I'll show you what we did. See you in a few minutes. And that's it for stage 29. Uh, just like before, it was a, a royal pain in my butt again. So um, basically what we did was, first we put this piece together and put all the intricate details on it, which you probably can see possibly on camera, but there's all types of piping and stuff on here. Then we attached the engine to the wing or the engine mount. And then we also routed the, the engine LED out this side like we did the laser cannon already. Um, that was pretty much it for stage 29. Now we'll go ahead and move on to stage 30. Um, I think it's more of the covering up of that, but um, there's not very many parts. So we might be able to, um, I may not time lapse this section. It depends. Anyways, I'll go through the parts and I'll decide. But um, so for the stage, it's funny how they put some of these little tiny pieces in the in the bag by itself like not in another bag but anyways so first we've got the engine cover if you remember previously we covered up the engine we're going to do that again on this wing then we've got the upper skin um that'll cover up where the wiring is uh, on the wing and then we've got the trailing edge support we've got cover plugs then we've got three pieces of plant-on details, which those are the little pieces I was referring to. And then we've got four XW02 screws. With that, we'll go ahead and get started on uh, stage 30. 
So we'll need the wing again, obviously. And we'll need the engine cover, the upper skin, and pretty much all the other parts. So first, there's gonna be two planton details that we put together pretty much first. So there's a pin that will align to the pin on this, the opening on this piece, and you basically just fit them together. until they firmly fit together in place. That's the first step. Then on the trailing edge support, there's a spot for this. And it, basically there's a notch and a pin and it fits the shape of the what we just put together. So that's the first piece. Then we have this uh, other detail that goes on the trailing edge support that there's a notch but it's a particular shape so it's only going to go on this one way so there's that piece so it's probably good that i so this is the trailing edge support with all the details put on it and then it fits on the rear mount like this and then it fits through there's two pinholes on the side of the mount that this will uh, pop into and you basically just nudge it into place until it's on there which currently is then we take the engine cover which is this piece right here I'll turn the engine this way because, or the, the wing this way because that's the way the picture shows. And there's four notches on the back of the engine cover that will match the four notches here on the engine. And you basically just push it into place as well. And then the engine's covered. So now you can see the engine cover is on. And then last, we take the upper skin and we line it up with the ring root, which is this piece. So we line this up with this and kind of pop it into place a little bit. And then we'll take the XW02 screws that were supplied in this kit and we'll screw them into the three holes in the, if I can get the bag open. There we go. We'll take three screws and we'll screw in this piece. And then we'll use the covers to cover up the, the, the holes. And they just pop into the screw holes. These really don't need to be screwed in that much. They'll tighten up and then you'll know. So then we'll just take these off. The little, you know, I don't know what you would call this. Screw, uh, but then we'll just take them and you pop them into the little holes and it'll cover them up. make it look like I mean you'll still see circles but they'll match the the color of the wing pretty much the grayish tint and you won't have screw holes showing when the build's completed so with that that's the end of the stage so that's pretty much what we did we installed the cover as you saw we installed the upper skin and then we installed the trailing edge support back here. So that's what it looks like now. With that, we'll go ahead and move on to stage 31. I told you that was pretty quick. This one may not be that long either because I think it's the just the covering of the wing, uh, the lower panel.
the lower port went. So yeah, so there's, oh. And it'll involve that piece as well because we'll have to put two supports in there. If you guys remember the previous episode, or when we did the other wing, we had to do pretty much the same thing. So this isn't any different than that episode, or yeah, when we did the other wing. So I envision I'm gonna do this two more times, the exact same scenario for the other two wings. So you'll see the same exact steps when we get to those, whenever that is. Um, so we've got the lower skin here, then we've got the inner edge, strip inner edging strip which again this is a rounded piece and the other one's kind of squared off with pegs on it this is the outer edge stripping so with that we'll go ahead and time lapse this one um because i do have to add the laser cannon that we assembled early in the earlier stage to this piece as well so i'll when we come back, I'll show you what we did and show you the completed build through this stage. See you in a few. And that's it for stage 31. So we completed this wing. So basically we attached the two inner strips here that I showed you before. And then we, we put the lower skin on the wing. We attached the laser cannon. So now it's pretty much completed at this point. Um, this side of the wing anyways. And then what I can show you is that both, whoop, is that both lights still light up even with the routing. So you probably can see it. I'd have to turn the lights off, but the light is actually working on the end there. You could probably see it here in the in this part too. And then um, you'll be able to see this side as well. You can't see it, but now you can. <laughs> see? So with that being said, that's our stage 31. I don't think we have anything left to do with this wing. So I'll just put it off to the side for now. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to stage 32, which I think it's the upper port cannon is what we're going to be working on so we're going to be putting together another laser cannon in this stage so with that i probably won't need to time lapse this section i might just because actually um, there's a portion where we add to the fuselage so um, depending i might time lapse it but if i may not have to because there's only a few pieces in here so okay, we'll see so first we got the laser cannon side tubes we've got the laser cannon side detail we've got the laser cannon tube in this bag then we've got the laser cannon jacket we've got three xw01 screws a laser cannon shoulder the laser cannon rear end cap the laser cannon front end cap and i don't think i said this yet but the laser cannon housing outer half and then we've got two lower forward fuselage frames so we'll actually start adding to the fuselage from the very beginnings of this it's probably stage shoot it was probably stage 
one or two where we did that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with this stage and um, and obviously you'll see what we did when we finish it. So first step is we take this, uh, the laser cannon tube and we take the shoulder and we put it into the end of this. Then we take the laser cannon jacket or laser, yeah, onto the thinner end of this. So we put it here. So that's that part. Then we take the laser cannon side tube and we attach the uh, side detail to it. So there's a notch in the both. So just put the square towards the end so it looks like this. Then on the outer detail of the laser cannon housing, we take the, the side tube. It's got a notch and a pinhole. It goes along the same uh, detail of this. And then there's two little pins, holes in the housing that this sits in. So that's that piece. And then it looks like we're done with the laser cannon at this point. We just put all the rest of the parts to the side. So that's what we did for that portion. Then extending the frame, we just take the frame and it looks like this one goes on this side and this one goes on this side. And then we align it and there's a pin at the end. So let me open up the screws just so I have easy access to them. There we go. Looks like it'll just attach with one screw. Um, so first thing it says is align the left two with the pin. Actually, it might be this one based on what I'm looking at. Yeah. So yeah, you take this and you, you align the pin with the pin in the frame and then there's a hole. I'll go ahead and do that with both of these. And then we basically use the XW01 screw and screw it in. from underneath. So let's see. Might want to do one of these at a time because it's going to be wobbly. I'll test it with this one. One of them was okay. Then we'll go ahead and do it again on this side. Seems like we're all good there too. So that completes this portion of the build. So now we've extended the frame. This is where we're at at this point with the fuselage frame. And that's the conclusion of this episode. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Um, it wasn't as uh, bad as the previous time I worked with those pieces. So, you know, maybe the next time and the time after that, I'll get uh, exponentially quicker. Um, but uh, so for the next episode, we'll be continuing the X-Wing build and it'll be ish, uh, stages 33 through 36 at that point. Um, so if you guys like what you're seeing, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notified when our videos come out. The dynamic diecaster videos typically come out every Friday, but hopefully we're going to start putting out music reviews and stuff like that again on the on the channel and they they'll come out on different times. But if you hit that bell for our channel, you get notified when I believe when they all come out. So for all of us at the Heart of Geek, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dynamic Diecasters and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.